Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two crazy, crazy Ketos. ketos. While well, it's one day to KetoCon. It can't be because I have way too much to do. I have so much work to do today. I got to go cut the church. I've got to pack still. I mean, you've already packed. I packed. I packed. I got to get all our camera gear together. I've got to make sure there's videos to upload. I have to take in shipping. You have to take your shipping in. I need laundry, dishes, <laughs> lots of things to do. And make sure our house is completely kid proof to make sure nothing is going to happen while we're gone. So let's get our day started. It's going to be a big one. We've got to go pack the car with boxes to take to the post office. To a big morning. Delicious. So first things first, all the shipping has to go to the post office from last night. Load it up. So here we are. It's time for the last bike ride before KetoCon. I don't know how I'm going to not bike ride every day when we are in Austin. Maybe we should rent some bikes. I'm sure we will like be walking around a lot, but I really enjoy my bike rides every day now. So before I go on my bike ride, I'm going to go ahead and drink a Zip Fizz, my favorite flavor, fruit punch and as i'm doing that tabitha is doing what she knows she's not supposed to do which is get on the couch and scratch are you supposed to be on the couch ma'am are you she's like yeah i think i'm supposed to be so here we are the last bike ride before keto con we're getting a little bit later start than i usually like it's kind of hot already because it is 8 45 in the morning Usually I like to get started at around 6 a.m., but we're going to do this. Here we go. Five miles. Well, there it is. I'm pretty like sweaty and disgusting now, but that was a five mile bike ride through my neighborhood and little local community park. That was a lot of fun. It's always fun to bike ride through this neighborhood because I actually learned how to ride my bike in this neighborhood. And now coming back and getting to bike through the neighborhood again as an adult is, is really, really fun. I love it. So bike ride complete. On to the next thing to do before keto gone. So it's 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm on my second cup of coffee. Shout out to Star Wars. I love you, Kylo Ren. Um, I should be in the shower because I'm gross. However, Anthony is going to be doing the shipping for me while I'm at keto con. Bless his heart. That is an awesome kid. Um, so I want to prep the boxes for him so that I can make his job as easy as humanly possible. So before I go take a shower, let's go prep some boxes. And there you have it, like 40 boxes to get Anthony started. Woo! Doing shipping while we are gone at KetoCon. Love that kid. It is so hot in Florida. I hope it is not this hot in Texas. Take a look at this temperature. Look at this. It's 98 degrees. It's only 140 in the afternoon. That is ridiculous. And that's not even the feels like temperature when you have like the sun beating down on you. So it's 2.30. I'm just getting home. I am officially on vacation. Anthony and I worked our butts off. We got like an entire week's worth of work done in just two and a half days. It was ridiculously hot. I think the feel like temperature was like 110 degrees and we were riding around on a big open field for the last two days. But yes, I am on vacation. I'm heading to KetoCon. Now I need to go take a shower because I smell, I'm dirty, and then I have to go pack. So I took my shower, I got all nice and clean. I even shaved my face and my head so that I don't have to do it in the morning because we have to leave for the airport at like 5 a.m. Then I realized that I had to go out and fix my mother-in-law's bicycle because there was something clanking on it. And now I got all sweaty and smelly again. I mean, it's just so ridiculously hot out there. It's still like 95 degrees. I'm really hoping it's not this hot in Texas or at least not this humid. I don't even mind the heat so much as the humidity is just absolutely ridiculous right now. So Rachel went and took Anthony over to youth group and then she had to stop at Walmart to get a couple things because we realized that we don't even have a car charger for our phones in the car. You know, we hardly ever go anywhere and we have CarPlay in both of our cars. So that's usually how we could charge our phones. So I told her just pick up one of those little cigarette lighter adapters just in case. And I think when she gets home, 
we're gonna run to the store. I have a couple things I wanted to return to Express and I realized I don't own any like nice shorts. I only wear jeans, which I know sounds ridiculous like living in South Florida, but once I lost all my weight and I like fit into nice looking jeans, that's pretty much all I wear. And I own a couple pair of basketball shorts, but I only wear those to like sleep in because before I lost all my weight, that was the only thing I wore because it was the only thing I even fit into. So I think I wanna go try and find like one or two pairs of like, you know, cargo shorts or something that I can wear around Texas. I'll probably still wear jeans, but just in case I wanna find something. So right now I'm gonna go pack my clothes cause I haven't even done that. And I'll show you guys what I bring with me when uh, we go on trips. So I finished packing all my clothes. You guys saw that Rachel packed everything last night. Mine's already at the front door. <laughs> But we still have our snacks and people are always asking us like, what do you guys bring when you go on trips? Obviously donuts, Cheetos. We pack a couple sandwiches, extra carby. Are you done? Yeah, I'm sorry. So we, you know, we are going to KetoCon, so I'm sure they're gonna have stuff there, but I don't know if they're giving away free samples or if you have to buy stuff. So I was gonna go over what we bring on a normal trip. And a lot of times we come home with most of this stuff, we don't even have it, but you always wanna have stuff with you to make sure you can stay on plan. We know there's going to be nothing like in the airplane right at all like you're not going to be able going or coming or for in the airport for and the you most don't know part. if you're going to get trapped in the airport for like six or seven hours on a delay or We've something had that like that happen so let's go over what we're bringing the first thing i always bring is some kind of mct powder i actually love this flavor this is from kiss my keto yep this birthday cake creamer that's is, my favorite one that one delicious. and salted caramel from perfect keto but we have a coupon code for this i'll leave it down below it's so good okay so i always bring a couple bears bags of couple pork rinds and these are my favorite two right now this is a baked one from epic mm -hmm. and i love this one it is higher in protein than fat because they're not frying it but right. it means i can eat more calorie wise sure and they're zero carbs but these are so flavorful they're chili lime flavor I see my favorite. And then of course I'm bringing Rachel's favorite. Maple but here's bacon. the thing. This is five servings or this is five servings? But they're so good. The cracklins. What do you guys like better? Do you like cracklins better or do you like pork rinds better? I love cracklins, but the problem is like this bag, three cracklins, that's a serving. Totally worth it. And then this is my other favorite flavor from Epic. This one is fried, so it's more in calories, but this is like the barbecue. So we just bring a couple of bags of pork rinds just in case we can't find anything. I don't want to buy the store-bought ones that have all the melted extra and stuff. Yeah. Then we always have just a bag of snacks. Random bag so of snacks. So I know snacks. it's not in the shot there. Here, I'll let you guys see. This is what we're bringing. It's like Halloween, So right? Yeah. You pour out all of your candy. So here, let's you just go over trade? what we got. So we just got a bunch of bars. Just the bars we have in the house, bunch of perfect keto bars. These are for Joe. Keto fit bars. Well, you never know. You're gonna get hungry if you get trapped in an airport for seven hours, you're gonna want a bar. Babe, I'm going this type of bar, meat bar. Yeah, so we got a couple of those meat bars. <gasps> I got some dang bars for Rachel. Dang! Um, what else? I always bring a couple of bags of peely nuts, again, just in case. So this is super high in fat, cause you know, you don't know. We may go all day without eating. I'm very stoked about this snack. <laughs> We, I just grabbed a Snoka, a Stoka bar. Um, of course, we've got our meat sticks. So all I'm bringing is these Vermont meat sticks. Remember, we got these With sprouts as sprouts, and these are like little tiny ones. Here, I'm actually gonna open this and show them. They were like a deep discount item. Yeah, they were like on clearance. So it's just a bunch of these, and they're just nice. Like, yeah. And then this is something new that I found at Whole Foods. They were on like sale last week, 40% off. These are epic smoked, hickory smoked, uncured bacon and pork. And they're like little tiny bits. Six pieces is a serving. And I like it's that. like 220 calories in a serving. Zero grams of, uh, zero grams of carbohydrates. Calories. 120 calories. Is that 120 or 220? That's 120. Oh, it's, so it's Somebody 120. Somebody get his That's glasses. even better. I know. Nine grams of fat, 10 grams of protein, zero carbs. And the, I love the ingredients. Uncured bacon, no nitrates, no nitrites. Water, sea salt, vinegar, celery powder, and natural pork. I like that you're bringing a keto coffee in case for some reason we get trapped without coffee for any length of time. Well, I, I figured, coffee. like, I have some peeling nut butter. We love peeling nuts. I got this. And I figured I was going to bring this just, we figured we were going to try it. So why not try it on the road? We'll do a yeah. review on the road. Five things review. Maybe no, you can can't add humor. that. Maybe after you have to, this, this has got that in it already. Sure. Okay. 
And then we found this for the plane. I'm bringing this because we're leaving at 5 a.m. So we're going to want to eat breakfast. We're not getting there till like 9 30, 10 o'clock. And we don't go off keto plan when we go on a trip, but we do go off of like, there's pretty much no intermittent fasting. Yeah. You know, we're going to eat like snack throughout the day or whenever, because we don't know when we're going to be able to eat. We, you know, we may not be able to eat until three, four o'clock one day. So whenever we can have an opportunity to eat, we're going to eat. But these things are awesome. We get these in Publix. Yeah. And these things are incredible. These chorizos are nice and hot. 140 calories in a serving, 12 grams of fat, zero carbs, seven grams of protein. And the ingredients in this are pork, paprika, salt, garlic, and natural uh, pork casing. But Rachel found something that was really awesome. This is hilarious. These. Okay, so there's four of these, all right? And the bag says there's seven servings. I know. It's so ridiculous. Okay, so number one... No one's eating just one. And then what and are you going to do? They're not even saying it's a, a serving is a half of a sausage. Right. Right? Because you could say, if it, why not make, instead of saying seven, why not say it's, eight. there's eight? Right? A half a sausage. No, right. seven. No, you're going to have to eat this. What are you going to do? Bring a Ziploc bag to like finish eating it? And then we will have to have wet wipes. Right. Oh, no. These oh are gosh. these You're are orange. definitely greasy orange, but they are so Delicious. good. And I love the fact, I mean, they're saying zero carbs, but again, that's per serving. And obviously one sausage is like almost a ser more than two, almost yeah. two servings. And so I always figure there's one carb per each one because there is paprika in it. There's paprika and garlic in it. They're really good sliced up on pizza. And then we got... Oh, we always, always bring this, even though I know Robert's going to be there. Yeah. Again, we don't know. What if you get trapped in a plane for several hours and you're just hungry? So I'm just bringing just one keto brick. go back to the brick. hotel and... Yep. I'm just bringing one keto brick. And then we've got our box of... this. We took a page from Watch Autumn Keto, right? She's got her roulette. So I just threw all of our zip fizzes in a box and every day I reach in and I grab one. So we're going to bring like five or six zip fizzes. I have to admit though. I'm sure they're going to be there. So I play a little roulette with this. I, I reach in and sometimes I'm like, oh yeah, no. <laughs> reach in again. You're cheating. Oh yeah, no. Yeah, I cheat. You cheat a lot. <laughs> Fruit punch. If there's a grape one. I think that there's no grapes left though. Good. Because that's definitely going back in the box. Like, oop, I want to recount. This has become my new favorite flavor. Really? This Limon. Limon. This one is awesome. And I got it from Costco. I didn't realize you can order them from Costco.com online. And get them like one flavor at a time? One flavor at a time, $1 a tube. It's $30 per box for 30 tubes. We will never drink grape again. I like grape. What's wrong with you? Okay, so that's everything that we're bringing as a snack. Wait, we've got, oh, you said as a snack. Yes. Yeah. I, I heard your little condition on the end because we definitely don't want to forget our salt. Oh yeah, so I, I'm also bringing this and I'm they're going to be there because we're going to a special event with them. Awesome. Um, but we'll bring like a couple of those just to make sure we've got our salt. Are you going to bring the paint bucket? No, I'm not bringing the paint bucket. All right, good. So we're just going to put everything in a Ziploc bag. Throw this in Rachel's suitcase so that hey. she gets stopped by the airport and not no, instead of me. Uh. We're never going to eat all of this, but that's the doorbell. So we have company. I feel like we're in uh, Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. Hello, neighbor. It's a chicken. It might be. I was going to order some. He wants to live here. It's probably Amazon. Really? You think so? Probably. How are you ordering things right before we leave? Because I knew it would be delivered today. You can't even play with whatever it is that you're getting. Well, it's, it's stuff for the trip. It never ends, folks. So I was telling them earlier, I don't have any shorts. That is weird because when we first got together, all you wore I only ever was wore basketball shorts. band shorts. That's because it's all I could fit in. But now that I can fit in nice clothes, I only wear jeans. That's what I was telling them before. So I have those things that need to go back to the store that we bought for Caleb's graduation. Yeah. Let's run to Express and return those. And maybe I can find a couple pairs of shorts in the clearance bin. Did you just say, let's go shopping? Yeah. Might there be something for me in that venture? Yeah, but we're going to have to make it quick because we are getting on an airplane in 10 hours and I still have no shorts. Oh, great day. All right, let's go. Oh my goodness, this thing is so tiny. How are we not going to lose this? We're not going to lose it. We didn't lose our old GoPro. It's kind of exciting. I get to sit in the front seat like a big girl, though. <laughs> it like fits us both. How, how did it do that? I just love the front facing screen because we can see that we're in the shot. I mean, our Yay. old GoPro, we had the GoPro Hero 3 and that was before they even put a screen on the back. There was no screen on the back. You just like took it with you and you're like, 
Hope I got something. It was like having an old camera with film. You didn't know until it developed. But even the old cameras with got. film, you had a viewfinder to look through to see what you were, you had no idea with that thing. You just held it up and hoped you were in the <laughs> shot. Everything was a Hail Mary. To top it off, it wasn't waterproof. So this little tiny thing, this thing is waterproof down to 30 meters. It's like got like a good durability to it. Mm -hmm. And I found this because I watched this YouTuber called The Everyday Dad. Aww. And he just it's reviews kidding. things like cameras. He goes over like what's the best budget things, how to use it. Like don't buy this, buy this. This one costs way too much money. You don't get nearly enough. Does he like toss it in a pool? Well, with this one, with the camera, he actually was like running it over with a car and stuff. Not this particular one, but one good of the Lord. other cars. Yeah, so it's really cool. But I watched one reviewer actually run this over with an RTV and it didn't break. Well, let's not do that. Well, it did come with a thing they offered for $30, you get like two year replacement. So if you break it or anything like that, if you, you didn't break the lens, I did, I ordered it. Oh, okay. $30. I was going to say, yeah. You know, I, I mean, like, it's a $350 camera. Why wouldn't you do that? I don't know. The way you were setting that up, I was thinking you were going to say, yeah, I didn't do that though. I don't <laughs> buy extended warranties on a lot of things. Do you guys buy extended warranties on stuff? Yeah, I wonder. I, mean, I don't buy it on a lot of things. I don't usually buy it on our like microwaves and stuff like that because they want to charge you like $100 for an extended warranty. I paid $300 for the microwave. I like Not when quite I, worth it. I like when I buy like a $20 hair dryer and they're like, you want an extended warranty on this? And it was like, mm, no, I don't well, think Well, the so. worst part about the extended warranties is a lot of times they don't even kick in until after the manufacturer's warranty is expired. Oh. So like I had bought one thing and it was, it was like a chair at office depot oh yeah and i bought the chair at office depot i bought the extended warranty and then there was something wrong with the chair like six months later and i called the warranty company they're like oh no no, no you have to go through the manufacturer I'm like then why did i buy the extended warranty so basically i paid you all that money for one year instead of two yeah so i don't buy it on a lot of things but i do buy it on a lot of portable electronics like, I don't buy it on my home computer, but I buy it on my laptop or my iPad or a camera or my iPhone because my luck, I won't buy it and then I'll break it. I haven't even eaten dinner yet. I haven't eaten, like, I had a little bit of, like, a sub from Wawa because you know, I, I still have to eat 1,700 calories and I hadn't eaten my brick yet, so I ate, like, a 200 calorie sub, like, no bread, just, like, but it was, like, their little tiny one because I had a free coupon that was expiring tomorrow. And I don't know if there's any Wawa's in Texas. So I'm like, I better use this thing. I can't take a chance that this sub is going uneaten. Absolutely. So I got my keto brick here. This is the cinnamon, uh, no, the maple bacon one. I've just been eating my keto brick this week. And now I remember, You're doing great. I remember how we were on our keto brick for a week challenge. Do you remember that? So it's been a while since I've eaten keto brick. Really? Even when we do eat it, it's usually just a little piece little of Little piece. Yeah. So I'm eating keto brick a day, and I started out on Monday, eat, you know, cutting it into three and eating three meals, and now I have to cut it into four and just try to choke it down. I, I can't even finish it. There's something about it that is just like, I'm so full, I'm like fat, nasty full on it. It's the fat, right? Like it's just... It's just all the fat. It's like... I just literally fat. take it like this and in the bag and then I like take a bite out of every once in a while. I put mine in like hot water and turn it into like a hot beverage. I like put it in I my Vitamix. Well, not a Vitamix. The other thing. The, the Ninja. ninja. Yeah. It probably chop up even better than Vitamix. It's really good. It's really good. It's just so filling. So I did want to talk a little bit about like going to KetoCon. I mean, it's Wednesday night. It's 7.40. We have no business going to the mall. I don't know we're why we're going to the mall. We're not going to sleep though. We're too excited. We're getting on a plane in what? I don't know, like 10 hours. Yay. <laughs> but we are getting into KetoCon at, or into Texas at like 9.30 tomorrow morning. Well, after we get our car, it'll probably Yeah, be by the time we get our car and stuff, it'll probably 11. be like 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. And we're just going to spend most of the day just kind of like seeing what's in Austin. So if anybody has any um, recommendations on things we should take a look at, like... Yeah, let you? us know. And also, if you guys, if you live there or if you are going to Austin tomorrow too and you're just kind of like hanging out in the area, uh, hit us up on like 
on Instagram or on yeah. Two Crazy Keto's family group. Absolutely. And uh, maybe we can just try to meet up even tomorrow. We would love to meet you. And if you're going to the convention and you see us, please like come and talk to us. Like we would love it. I'm warning you, I'm a hugger. Yeah, there's never like a time where don't look at like, oh, well they look kind of busy or like, no you know, way. they're just kind of hanging out with each other. We're actually going like for us to enjoy ourselves and also to like see you. everybody that's out there. Yeah. You know, well, people who watch us and other people as well. I mean, this is like the biggest keto convention there is. We're geeking out at just the <coughs> thought of getting to meet you. Right. But I mean, we're not really doing, we're not planning like any kind of a meetup because I mean, we are a little bit of a smaller channel and there we're are some tiny. like, you know, I know that like their Goody Beats is doing like a meetup. He's doing that actually tonight, which we couldn't get out there for Wednesday night. But, um, you know, I don't want to like step on anybody's toes. There's, a, I know a lot of different meetups oh, yeah. and stuff oh, like that. Gracious. But if you see us, yeah. yeah, make sure you come up to us. Or if you send us a message on Instagram or on Facebook, we'd be happy to try to, you know, make sure we're in a certain place to, you know, talk or have lunch or whatever. You know, so what are your plans for KetoCon? I am just going to totally geek out. I just want to meet the people that we talk to back and forth on Instagram, on YouTube, on Twitter, on Facebook. Like, I'm just really hoping that we get to see some folks that, like, we we talk to all the time but never seen in real life. Yeah, I'm looking forward to some of the lectures. I know, like, uh, Dr. Kim Berry is speaking, Thomas DeLawler is speaking, Robert Keto Savage is speaking. So... I'm, I'm excited about that. I'm excited about seeing like some of the different products. You know, they always oh, like definitely. launch new products at KetoCon. And so I'm excited about that. And I was thinking one of the videos that we might be able to do is we'll go through on Friday and Saturday and like see all of the different products. And then maybe on Sunday we'll go through and pick like our top 10. Oh, that'd be fun. Any other ideas for videos? You do the top 10 worst. No, I'm just kidding. That wouldn't... <laughs> That would be awful. That would be horrible. <laughs> Welcome to KetoCon. Your product sucks. I, I know. That would be terrible. Just kidding. Yeah, so we'll come up with uh, some different things. We're definitely going to try to do a vlog every day. And what we'll do is we'll just release that vlog the next morning. So everything you're seeing will be like the next day. I am on the hunt for funny t-shirts. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, I know that like I, I need to pick up um, a Keto Savage t-shirt. I was talking to him, he said he's gonna have some because oh, he didn't, yeah. on his launch of his apparel, he didn't have t-shirts for men. And I definitely want one, so I asked to make sure he brings one for me. And I also need to pick up one for um, our the subscriber who blessed us with the tickets for going yes, to Keto Con. absolutely. So she like messaged me yesterday and said, can you do me a favor? And I'm like, absolutely. Heck yes. So I need to pick up a shirt for her husband. Yes. That's exciting. Yeah, so we are getting in tomorrow, like 9.30, we're renting our car, and I wanted to mention this. So when, obviously, one of our subscribers, one of you guys blessed us with the tickets to go, and Thank we used so much. our credit card points with our Marriott card to pay for our hotel room. Yep. So the only thing we had to pay for was our flights mm -hmm. and our car rental. And we're flying on the Tin Can Spirit Airlines. No frills, and we may have to do a little crop dusting and some chicken deliveries. <laughs> but then we had our rental car. And so I was looking and I found out, because the rental cars were really expensive when I was looking to book, they were like $70 a day for like the cheapest ones. Even if it was like $58 a day with the company that we usually use, which is like Advantage Rent-A-Car or Easy Rent-A-Car. Right. But, so I found out that if wreck. you are an Amazon Prime member, you get a discount through Avis, and it's a significant discount. It's like 30% off of the rates, plus you get like 10% back in Amazon credit after you complete the rental. Wow. So if like the normal car was like $270, you were paying like $200 for the week, and then at the end of the rental, you get $20 back in Amazon money. That's worth noting. <laughs> so that was really good. So I was gonna go that way, then I found out that as a Costco member, I get a discount. So I went through Costco Travel, and so I was going back and forth. So with the Costco Travel, the rental car was like $225 for four days. Or, or Thursday, we're turning it on Sunday, but we're coming in in the morning and going home at night. So mm -hmm. they charged us that extra day. <coughs> so then, excuse me. So then I was looking on 
the Amazon price and the Amazon price was like $15 more but you had to but then you would get the money back so right. it became cheaper but you had to prepay the car to get that better rate oh. so I was like okay I'll just go with Costco well today I was going on and like checking in for the the airline and stuff and I said oh let me go check our car reservation and let me see if maybe the rates came down so I go over to the Amazon one like and I and I see the Amazon one is offering now through Avis what was two hundred and forty dollars for the car rental is now one hundred and sixty five dollars total with taxes that's crazy and then you get ten percent back so you're gonna get another sixteen fifty back so I was like oh my gosh that's one hundred and fifty dollars we were paying two twenty five that's huge so yes. I was but you again had to pay for the car up front okay if you didn't pay for it up front it was like twenty dollars more which was still a savings yeah so I was like well let me go check Costco and I go and I check on the Costco travel, and the Costco travels got my same car down to $113 for okay. four days with taxes. So it just seems so, like it makes more sense to just wait. Well, no, you don't want to wait because here's the thing. When you rent a car, unless you pay for it up front, it doesn't matter. You can just cancel it. So make sure you book it because the rates could also go up. Oh, okay. So reserve But when you it. go on a travel, and when you go traveling... The night before, two nights before, go check your hotel rates. Go check your car rental. Obviously, there's not much you can do with the airline. Right. But go check the hotel rates and the car rental rates because if they came down, go modify. We just saved $110 on our car rental by just double checking it the night before. That's amazing. And you know, hey, we have the, um, the executive membership or whatever it is mm -hmm. for Costco. Costco. So I think that's like a hundred dollars a year. That, that just, just paid covered for it. it. It just covered my Costco membership just doing that. Totally worth it. We are ready to go to KetoCon. I got some sunglasses and I got some giant earrings that say bite me for 50 cents. I love those earrings. They're so cool. And you got those sunglasses on clearance at Express. I got a pair of shorts, but I didn't get them at Express. I got them at Aeropostale. Yeah. They were 70% off all their shorts. But can somebody please explain to me why a pair of shorts cost $60 normal price? That's ridiculous. Like they're worth $15. They're not worth $60. No, I think they know that. I did get a cool pair of socks at Express on clearance. With bacon and eggs on them. Yeah, look, what was the regular price of these? Nine bucks. Nine dollars down to five dollars and then 50% off of that. It socks. It socks. So. Well, that is going to be the end of today's vlog. Tomorrow, by the time you guys see this, we will be on an airplane on our way to KetoCon. And Wiping again, the sleep out of our eyes. I keep eyes. moving the camera. I'm not used to like holding a camera while we're talking. I feel like I should be taller. So if you guys like what you saw, do us a favor. Hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. That way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to and it. And again, if you are going to be in Austin, Texas, if you're going to be at KetoCon, make sure you look for us and hit us up on Facebook and let us know where you're at and we'll meet you somewhere. Until next time. Bye. Bye.